Hello and welcome to Halo RV, everybody. My name is Josh, the RV nerd. If I seem a little more jazzed up than usual, it's because this is a little bit, I think, better than the average bear. This is the Rockwood 2104S right here, and this is a small camper done right. I, 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 I don't know for my money in the small camper segment. This is just me saying this personally. I don't know that pound for pound there's anyone doing it better and giving you more than Rockwood. Uh, there's so many things that are uh, a roughly equivalent price to this, but we're getting double Asdell, an all aluminum skeleton. Uh, we have an enclosed underbelly with standard tank heaters. We have factory standard uh, solar and inverter package going on here. We have a hitch on the back for accessories and a bumper. And that's the kind of stuff you're gonna see in this. Uh, instead of saying, okay, we can give you good feature A or good feature B, Rockwood says, hold my beer, baby. I'm gonna give you good feature A and B. Like factory standard tire pressure monitoring and things like that. Uh, normally you'd see Goodyear tires on this, but this specific RV that we're looking at today is actually a, a customer's personal order. And uh, what you're going to see here is they've done a couple things a little bit different from how we normally stock them, but I don't dislike anything they've done. I think actually, you might really enjoy what these folks have done and you might want to put one together yourself just like this. Now, as we go through, I'm going to show you the highs and the lows. Like I'll, I'll let you know right up front. The traveling access on this one, the slide close is very limited, but the small size, the 12 volt fridge, those things also both lend themselves to traveling. So it's a little bit of a give and a get, but if what you're looking for is big smace, smace? What? Big space in a small camper, smace. S small camper, big space. Yeah, <laughs> we got it. <laughs> So I like to give you some different points of view in this. We're gonna take a seat, like right now we're in the dinette. We'll take a seat on that front, what I call simulated cinema seat in just a minute. Give you, a, here's what it's gonna kind of look when you're walking around it. Like so many of the times the pictures that you see of RVs, they're from like, you know, way up in the corner of a camper. You don't really get a real feel for how it's gonna look. What's cool about this floor plan is the way that Rockwood kind of reinvented entertainment in small campers. And you're actually seeing a lot of other brands do this now. Instead of a cabinet up there, they're actually putting the entertainment center up there because when I'm over here in the seat in the uh, dinette, I got a straight view at this thing. That's usually not the case. And it's a pivoting TV. So when we uh, pivot it over toward the sofa, there you've got a good view of this. And we'll see that demonstrated in just a minute. Uh, what else I wanted to show you over here though, was it has way better window coverage than you would expect. When you, when you look at this camper from the outside, you're like, oh crap, it's one of those no windows on the door side. I don't know. I know it's broken up into several panels, but I would argue the fact that this actually has really good campsite window coverage considering the small size of the RV, but it's not going to look and feel small, partially because it has a uh, excellent lighting package in here. Uh, the other thing is that that is a barreled vaulted roof, which will make it look and feel even larger. Uh, the uh, color package that we're looking at, uh, you have two different, like you have a lighter and a darker interior tone. Similarly, with the uh, with the sofas and stuff, you have a lighter and a darker option here. But it's really the front of this RV. I'm going to spend some serious time talking about this because, I mean, this, it does everything up here. And it does it well. So first of all, just to give you some size perspective, I'm about 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 with my shoes on. I got long, gangly legs. There's plenty of space here. And what's kind of cool about this, there's actually space for three adults on this front sofa, if... That's what you're looking for. But if you're like my wife and you're not looking for cuddle compliance and you like a little more separation because I tend to be smothery, it is, this is why I call it a simulated cinema seat because it does have that handy little fold down armrest and it does have a couple incliners, which is what it's called when the chair doesn't actually lean back. That being said, the, the incliners don't go all the way up flat. So your legs always kind of angle down a little bit so you don't feel like you're getting a gymnastics hamstring stretch over here. It's actually just pretty darn comfy. So again, if you have that TV pivoted around, it's very comfortable and organic, very like lean back friendly, you know? But what's, uh, that, that's all well and good. What's also cool is all of the other stuff this front area does. For instance, you see that little black handle. This under here is still wide open storage. This is actually the outside pass-through storage of the camper. It's one of those two meets one kind of things. And that is the reason you have these big bulky side stands. Now I wanna be fair. When you have the big bulky side stands, yeah, 
it means that it is a little harder to walk around the bed. If somebody wants to call this not a walk around bed, I'm not going to argue with you about that. I get that it has reduced walking room. But for the most part, I think by the time you're reaching these side stands, you're already crawling in bed. It doesn't bother me that much, but I'm tall, I'm long legged, I'm young and still spry, although my knees are starting to get it. Um, I didn't realize when I was getting older I was going to take up popping and locking. And, and what I mean by that is every time I get up and down now, my knees start popping and locking up. And I'm getting a little concerned with what's happening here. But hey, as long as I can keep walking, we're going to keep rolling, right? And just like we saw the storage here, both sides of the, uh, the Murphy Sofa Cinema creation, they all have like normal hanging closet, awesome individual dresser space. And a couple other things I want to show you here. How easy this Murphy bed is to operate. Doing this all in just real time, we're done. It is just that simple. Because I will argue with almost anybody out there, Rockwood has the best Murphy bed system on the market. I understand the benefit of what I call bendy beds where the mattress folds. It does allow for a bigger outside pass-through storage. Freedom Express does that. They actually do it very well. I'll give them credit. But I like just a one-piece mattress because it means with these buckle straps i don't have to stop every morning every night and make the bed because when i make the bed every morning and night that means my wife has to remake the bed every morning and night because i never do it right and by the way don't ask me to fold a fitted sheet that is real sorcery there's i don't, I don't, I don't know how that happens now something i want to point out up here there is a nice i don't know about six inch deep headboard at the top of this Murphy bed. And over in that corner, there's a set of household outlets. So if that's deep enough. That is actually large enough. If you need to run a CPAP machine, there is room up there, not just for phones or something like that, or a drink or anything, but you can actually run your CPAP machine. And again, this is safety locking. I can't pick it up past that point. One of the only other hiccups of this is that when the slide closes, you can't have the bed down. I will show you that later in the video. Now, just so once again, you can see how simple and easy this all is. I'm gonna put it up and down one more time, just super fast. You pull that, drops down, unlatch these, pull that down. There you go, you're sleeping, you wake up. And just like that, one camper has two floor plans. It's a front walk around bed, it's a front living room. This gives us the seating and the space of a super slide without the length, the weight, and the cost of a super slide. That's what makes this so awesome. It's, it's really easy to mix that up on Murphy beds, folks. When you see a Murphy bed, you look at this floor plan, you look at something else this length, you're like, how is that lighter weight? How is that saving a bunch of weight? This has the seating and the space of a camper at least four or five feet longer. You're getting the benefits of like, I don't know, a 30, 32 foot trailer packed down into something that's only like, what, 25 feet tip to tail or something like that. That is what you're getting right here. And that is what makes these so cool. So flipping around, this is what I was talking about right here. That TV can pivot around. You want to make it face the dining? You want to make it face the, uh, the front sofa or the bed in the evening? It can do whatever. And here's a thought for you. What do you guys think about this? I think with this RV having a front sofa that the dinette over here makes a lot of sense. And, and real quick, here's another new for 22 feature. The uh, what used to be optional roller blinds are now just standard. So you got the nicer blackout space there. But what I'm getting at is this converts into a nice big, you could pull the table out, make it an open lounge or a big sleeping space. But if that can fit a U dinette, logically, you could probably swap that out for something else. Like, would you want this RV with a hide -a bed or a theater seat right there? Would that be of interest to you? Now over here, what we're looking at is the now standard 12 volt DC compressor fridge, which is uh, significantly bigger than the eight cubic foot gas electric that used to be standard here. Also faster cooling and completely travel safe. That goes hand in hand with the fact that Rockwood is including a factory standard 190 watt roof solar package. You can expand that. We'll talk more about that when we go outside. And you might have noticed how that's either a closet or a pantry. That is one of two cases in this RV where you have the choice between a closet or a pantry. So you didn't lose the storage space where the TV is now. 
it's just been moved around. And as we move around here more, you see a little bit of what I'm saying. Here's another thought too. You can absolutely move that table around. You can take it outside for picnics. You can move it in front of the sofa for a little Dinofa action. And this is that other convertible, either pantry or closet. And you might notice, if you got a keen eye, you may spot how the uh, closet pantry doesn't go all the way against the back of the slide. We'll see that again when we get outside. There's outside storage all over the face of this uh, slide out over there, which I, I don't know, I think is pretty cool. Now, as we're working our way over here to the kitchen, uh, well, I mean, the kitchen kind of starts in the back. It kind of starts in the slide. It sort of just wraps all the way around you. Something I want to mention here is uh, most of the outlets in this RV are wired to that inverter. It's like that headboard outlet that I mentioned. If you do need to stop and have like a, you know, overnight CPAP session or something like that, you can do that in this camper. You're just going to have to open the slide. And again, I'll show you what I mean on that later. And again, what you're going to see here is higher class, higher quality components, like that nice stainless sink that we're looking at there. Solid surface countertops in the kitchen. The dining table, though, that is a sealed edge press membrane. That is a larger 22-inch oven, so you can actually cook a small bird in that thing if you need to. Like maybe you hit a pigeon on the way and you feel like having squab tonight. If that's the case, don't invite me. I don't want to eat your cooking. But actually, you know what? I bet it's probably delicious. I'm just saying that. Um... <laughs> plywood drawers to the floors here and i love that sectionalized uh well not sectionalized but i'm sorry little just little utensil organizer that they include in that top drawer sometimes it doesn't have to be fancy sometimes it just has to work in case you're curious next to the thermostat over here we see our solar charge controller now uh with the battery that i have hooked up on the front here when i started we were at 13.1 volts i've had every light in this thing screaming i do not have the refrigerator running i want to make clear of that but without running the fridge, this RV is actually able to replenish power in my battery box, uh, it, despite having all of the lights on. Actually, I left the outside lights on too, now that I think about it. That is not a small sink, by the way, or a small counter. It's just a really big sink is what I meant to say. I screwed myself up. But as you might notice, um, I, I'm not exactly a wordsmith, as it were, <laughs> up top here. We've got that XL uh, Max Air style vent fan giving us some superior airflow that does have a factory standard roof cover and things like this actually including storage in their bathrooms. I have long said Rockwood has best in class bathrooms and people say, what do you mean? Which class? I'm like, <laughs> wherever you see a Rockwood, it's got the best bathroom. Uh, the uh, shower here, it's th there's just not quite enough space for a bigger rectangular shower like a lot of folks like, but at least this is the larger of the radius styles, and uh, that right there is that shower miser system, giving you a, if you are boondocking, you don't have to waste your fresh water waiting for everything to warm up. It's just, uh, just another way. Rockwood is just, they're just the plus one of camper brands anymore. Now, I like to take the time to close the slides up and show things in road mode here at Halet RV because I know that, they, I mean, RVing is a mobile lifestyle. You need to see how it works. This floor plan is not the most conducive to travel stops. If that's what you're looking for, you may want to stick with this one's uh, brother, the 2109S Rockwood Mini Light, which is very, it's almost the exact same length, but it has a sofa slide instead of that big, deep dinette, and it allows for more travel accessibility. Now, if you need to make a travel sleep stop, I will tell you, you can get that jackknife sofa down, but it ain't exactly that big. I think that's only, I got to tape measure it. I think that's only about 70 inches wide. If you're wondering about the Murphy bed, because they added that extra uh, pantry onto the slide out over here to our left, you're not able to get that Murphy bed down and use it in transit. So even if you don't want to use the RV as a Murphy bed, when you're traveling, you can just put the bed away. And I hope you appreciate the fact that we're willing to highlight not just the high points of an RV, but also show you potential shortcomings so you don't make a major purchase decision and mistake. If you like seeing this stuff, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a little note that says, hey, thanks, Halet. And no joke, sometimes I'll just stand here in front of one of these and just stare at it. It just looks good. It just looks, you ever get a new car and you just stare at it for a while? Cause you're just, you're like, I can't believe this is mine. Well, this one's not mine. But I can't believe how cool of a job I have that I just get to hang around and play around with these things all day. This thing is just absolutely awesome. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's also tied with its sofa slide uh, evil twin. <laughs> 
the 2109S as the smallest length Rockwood Mini Light. Slightly, slightly heavier, but nothing major. Now, a couple things I want to point out here. Uh, the uh, Remember, the RV that we're looking at today, it's a customer's personal purchase, personal build. They decided to go ahead and option on the power stabilizer jacks on this one, but I mean, that's not a terrible thing. I don't fault them for that. The push button convenience is nice. Uh, right below the power uh, jack switch, though, you see that clearance light, and just below that, we see a simple side mount solar prep plug. So this RV standard has 190 watt roof solar. You can double that to get up to 380 but you also still have the option of simultaneously or independently, depending on where you're at or what you're doing, uh, using a side solar prep plug uh, and portable panel as well. That, that's a lot of alliteration, by the way. Mrs. Forrester, my high school English teacher, would be very proud of me right now. <laughs> Power awning, LED lighting, easy till arms, those aren't exactly uncommon features. I wanna look at things that are, I, I think, a little more interesting. Like the fact that like everybody and their brother has these kind of stable steps now, right? Not exactly like Rockwood. Take a look at this like uh, gravity defying stable step system that they have right here. Anytime on a Rockwood, you have a triple step or more, you're going to get the gravity defying magic step system uh, standard. Now outside here, you see that black bracket below that uh, kitchen window. And I love how Rockwood does a bigger kitchen window so you can see what you're doing there. But uh, that is a TV mount see the hookups there it comes standard with the griddle uh i i don't always get up close to these boxes so i don't always do a good job of telling you what they are it does come with a handy little sunbeam uh i believe about 17 inch griddle something like that right there and a little handy side shelf but down here this is a cool option standard on this model you have goodyear endurance radials with uh tst tire pressure monitoring what we're looking at here is the sport tire and wheel package. You go to a little bit more uh, higher profile tire and you gain an axle lift kit, which basically lifts the RV up about three inches higher to give you increased ground clearance. It's not a Goodyear tire, it's a Westlake radial, but that's not a trash tire. And we don't have our customers reporting bad luck with their Westlake radials on their sport tire packages. So I gotta ask you guys, how would you want your Rockwood? How would you want your Mini Light? Would you like it with the standard Goodyears? Or would you like it with those uh, bigger Westlakes and the Axle Riser package? I think the answer that's really going to depend on a little bit of where and how you camp. And I don't know that either is the wrong answer. Quick note, you see that little baggage door in the back? People go, what's in there? It's just an access point to things like your kitchen water filtration system. Uh, it's not a real storage compartment. What's kind of cool, it's almost easy to miss. That uh, like hose hookup on the left, your black tank flush is included in that. Also, the bottom right one is an antifreeze inlet. So you don't gotta actually take a sticky bottle of antifreeze into your RV and, and risk spilling or slopping any of it anywhere. Now you're probably better about that than me, but as try as I might, I make messes. I just, I don't mean to, they just, they just happen. It just happens around me. <laughs> Um, we are all LED tail and marker lights. It's amazing how many RVs still haven't adopted that. Like they, oh, we got LED tail lights, but like all your clearance and marker lights. I don't know, those are, that seems important to me. Um, the uh, slide awning, optional, that has been applied here. That's something that we like to do in our Rockwoods almost 10 times out of 10 from Haylet RV. And look at the crafty way they came out with some outside storage on this. So we saw the dinette had drawers. And, and cabinets above it, right? Well, what about the storage in the rear bench? Classic Forest River stuff that Rockwood has still uh, maintained that a lot of other brands have not is you get this all aluminum skeleton uh, dinette access back here. Now, anything that's load bearing this, like the skeletal structure or the dinette or the bed deck, Rockwood builds with an aluminum frame. It's just one of those cool Rockwood doing Rockwood things I talk about. Now you see that middle baggage door, that actually goes all the way up to the slide ceiling. So you might ask, why the heck doesn't the door then? How am I gonna get stuff up there? Well, people who didn't ask, I'll tell you. <laughs> I've actually kind of wondered this myself, and I think I just kind of stumbled into the answer recently here. So you wanna know why the door doesn't go all the way up here. I'm tall, I have long arms. I can't reach the top of that slide. If the door was all the way at the top, the little door clip right here that you lock, you'd never be able to reach it. 
you'd never be able, short of hauling out a step stool every single time you want to get in and out of that, you'd never be able to get in and out of that and seal the door properly. You also don't want a door left unsealed at the top because that's just a surefire way to let a lot of water into your slide out. I get that it's not exactly always the most convenient, but at least they did something with the space and gave you some kind of opportunity. Like I, I've had people say golf clubs or outdoor uh, like bag chairs and stuff like that, tall, thin stuff, they go really nicely into a space like that. My wife said she'd put the attitude adjuster in there, which is what she calls her Louisville slugger. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I, I actually, when we, were, when we were dating still, I kind of cyber stalked her a little bit and I actually located her high school softball stats. Holy crap, she's a slugger. I ain't ever gonna walk out of line with my wife's got uh, old attitude adjuster AA uh, handy right there. When when she tells me it's time for me to go to an AA meeting, it ain't cause of drinking. <laughs> then finally we got our last door over here. Notice how any flip up door though has that nice magnet hold back. If there's one thing I'd love to see different on these, and I mean, it's it's small. I would like to see at least these main baggage doors be slam latches like the ultralights and the signatures that's that's the only ask that i have from rockwood and it's a minor thing it's not stopping me from camping that's just that's just how well appointed this is that i don't really have anything as a, a person who rvs and sees holy cow i bet i've seen somewhere between 10 11 maybe 12,000 rvs in my career uh that's that's the that's the most I can come up with. <laughs> now, I've given you a kind of like just a quick walk around of this thing. There's so much more below the skin. Like, did you know, even though that is a nose cap, it's still a one inch laminated front wall to help provide a more even thermal barrier. And they are running radiant barrier material, not just in the belly standard, but also up that nose cap standard. And if you'd like to learn more under the skin factors like that, I'm going to leave you a link in the video description where I actually went through Rockwood's mini light production facility and got there after hours so I could see these things with like from the from the chassis up. If you want to know how they're built, I'll leave you a link and you can check that out. And if you want to know tonight's winning lottery numbers, just record the program and then watch it tomorrow. And a couple things for you up top here. I don't know what you're really going to learn from looking at the top of a slide awning. It just feels more revealing somehow when you're actually just staring at it. Again, Rockwood actually giving us ladders. So many manufacturers right now just are not able. Obviously, Rockwood's got a little more clout than some of those guys. In the back there, you see that Baxair style vent fan with the roof vent cover, giving us that awesome airflow anytime. What you're not seeing anymore, but what is still included, is the Wi-Fi Ranger. It's basically integrated into the antenna. So effectively, Company A bought Company B and they were able to merge their technology, which I like, because now it means one less seal point I need to worry about in the RV. And then of course up here, whenever you get the 12 volt refrigerator, you get the 190 watt roof solar package as well as the 1000 watt inverter. And remember, they leave you plenty of room up here if you wanna go add in a second one of those panels. The charge controller can handle that without needing to like rewire everything. And tell me, that wouldn't look good sitting in your uh, rear view mirror. Now I didn't mention this sooner. You have a different exterior color package available on this. You don't have to get just the white and gray with like the little orange accents. If you prefer something a little more traditional in that champagne tan skin package, that's actually the standard. We're looking at the optional exterior package on this. So you could get it a couple different ways. Maybe you've got a different tow vehicle. Maybe you just have a personal preference and you just can't stand the color orange or something like that. Whatever the case, they're gonna make a Rockwood for you. We got it at Halo RV. So when you're ready, we're ready. Give our team a call, and we'll get you rolling. Until then, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone. Bye.